Hello, I'm Forrest Witt, a senior application engineer with Electro Industries Gauge Tech. We assume that the meter's been installed and wired. And now we're going to go ahead and look at some of the front panel readings to validate that all the wiring was done correctly, that your CTs were installed correctly, and that all the wiring was done correctly. First, let's look at the voltages. If this meter is on a Y, we look at the phase to neutral and phase to phase voltages. If the system is a delta, then the only voltage readings you're going to see are phase to phase. In the basic setup for the meter, we also entered PT values. So make sure that your voltage readings make sense. For example, if you're on a Y, 480, 277, we would expect to see approximately 480 volts phase to phase and 277 volts phase to neutral. If you see anything different, check your wiring or your PT settings. You can check voltages with a handheld voltmeter at the back of the shark meter. If the voltages look good, then go to the amperage readings. Assuming the voltage and current readings make sense, then proceed to the next reading on the meter, which is labeled watts, var, and power factor. This will tell us if you face the high side of the CTs correctly. It would also tell us whether you've got the high and low wires connected to the meter correctly. If the sign of the watts is positive, then the meter assumes you are measuring energy consumed by a load. If the sign of the watts is negative, then the meter assumes you're generating or creating watts, as in a solar array. As long as the sign is correct, then we can proceed to the next step. If, for example, you're measuring the energy consumed by a building and the sign of the watts is negative, then you probably either face the CTs wrong wired them backwards or possibly cross the phases between the voltage and the current inputs. If the sign is correct, then let's proceed and look at the reading in window C. What is the power factor reading? We hope to see a number between 0.9 and 1. If you're using our communicator EXT software, then you can look at the phaser diagram. If all the readings make sense, then you can be confident you've installed the meter correctly. So at this point, we've looked at how to validate your meter installation by looking at the readings on the front panel. If you did the CTs correctly and you wired all the voltage inputs correctly and these readings look good, then you've done the installation. If you have any technical issues, please contact the technical support team at Electro Industries. We're more than glad to help. You can find further resources on our website, electroend.com, for wiring diagrams and further information. Thanks for watching this video.